Oh my God, ClickUp is so difficult to set up. I don't know what to do. I don't know what spaces. I don't know what list. I don't know where to put my clients. I've heard you. We all have the same questions. We all have the same troubles when we start setting up ClickUp. But there is one single thing you can do to jumpstart your ClickUp, to really make it easy to figure out how you want to set it up, what needs to get done, what needs to go where. And really, it's just one thing you need to do. Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne with AskEvie.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And if you are ready to streamline your business, to skyrocket your sales, you are perfect right here on my channel. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video to make your life more efficient than it was yesterday. Now today I wanna talk with you about the one thing that we should be doing before you even ever touch your ClickUp setup. I know a lot of you have reached out and especially with my clients when they come to me and are like, hey, Evie, can you help me set up your ClickUp? Yes, I can, but we need to do some things before that. And there's one major thing that all of my clients have to do and that is mapping out your workflows. What does that mean and why is it important? First of all, mapping out your workflows means putting a visual to what's gonna happen. You might have heard before the words mind mapping or or sales funnel. The visualization of those things is exactly the same thing. It's just different words in different usage scenarios. So when you look at one of my tools, Influencer Soft, it's a sales funnel software. And as you can see, there is multiple steps where people come in and they can opt in for it. They get a thank you page and you can visually see the process that a potential signing client customer goes through with all of the errors and all of the boxes and what is what and where does what go. That is the same thing we need before we start setting up ClickUp. And I will show you in a second how you can do that and how you can put your mind easily on pen and paper or in this case digital. I want to talk before about the perfect example why it is so important and why it helps you so much. And yes, I'm calling out Cheryl Springer here because she experienced the importance of mapping out your workflow. Cheryl is part of the amazing team over at Flowdesk and they just started implementing ClickUp for their team. Now, Cheryl has been around ClickUp for a while and has listened to me for the last two years preaching about ClickUp and using it. She always had struggle about how to set up ClickUp for herself and for her own business and all of those things. And now suddenly implementing ClickUp for Flowdesk was so easy. And she was like, why? Because they had their workflows ready. Flowdesk has their processes ready. They know where things go, what happens when and where and what and why. Now, when you know those things, you easily can set that up in ClickUp because you know, if this happens, that needs to happen. This person takes care of that job and there's information information is there and this information is there. Now suddenly she was able to build a structure in ClickUp like that because she knew what was happening. Before I dive into the nitty gritty of all of the things and how you can make that work for you and build those workflows visually so you can easily save hours in your ClickUp setup, I want to invite you, jump in the comment section. Have you ever actually built out a mind map, a visual sales funnel? or workflow? Are you doing it or are you going to start doing it now? Comment below and you might just get featured on the next video. Now, how do we build workflows and visualize them here in Ask Evie? I personally love, love, love diagrams.net. It used to be draw.io before they changed around. And I love those guys because first of all, it's free. Second of all, it integrates with your Google suite. It connects. It's right in there. You don't have to go anywhere else. And as you can see, I've already set it up for you. There's how to's online on how to integrate it. It's a simple, just follow the instructions kind of setup. And then it just pops up in your apps right on top of your G Suite. Now, once you got it installed in your G Suite or you just stay on the regular website, you don't 
have to integrate it with Google. You go in and you can use any of those pre-set up templates. There's some entity relationships diagram and all kinds of stuff. For this case scenario, we'll just use a blank diagram and go for it. Root folder is fine. If you want to plug it into a specific Google Drive folder, you totally can do that, especially if it is pertaining to a specific client. You can build these with your client and save them in the client folder. And then you really just drop a couple of boxes of hmm, where comes the client in? How do they maybe find you? Which then means this puppy right here is through the website. Cool. Client found me through the website. Client found me through Facebook and client came in through email. All good. Now, what happens after those steps of them coming to me, wherever they are coming from, I always get them on a call. And from the call, they usually go into my jumpstart calls and then we got two possibilities of either way monthly retainer if you can spell or they are going into an intensive we'll grab a couple of arrows that go from there and apparently i cannot draw my arrows today as you can see they they pop around you can clean them up nicely i'm not gonna go too crazy because you can play around <laughs> Yep, and if you grab the wrong corner, weird things happen. It's actually easier to just draw them onto one corner you want to start or not. And what we do with this is you visually lay out the process your clients go through. How are they funneling? And there's a little shortcut for you, moving things around. If you find one of those axes right here, you can just do that and you don't even have to pull the error from over here and really drilling into your workflows your client flow what is happening when this is just a complete simple how clients find me how can they work with me how do they go through that sales process the same thing can be done for customer support for specific tasks you might have seen my social media marketing space that I talked about in a past video I'll link it right here for you that right there also can be visually laid out in here where you start with your box on YouTube tasks underneath that then funnels into the big box of blog which then funnels into the marketing piece and you visually lay this out you can color code in here to easier visualize what is what if you want to sort it by team and department in your company or if you want to color code it by team, that's possible too. Who's taking care of what? But even if you are just using this in the most simple way, like this one right here that I just whipped out within five minutes, this will allow you to make the decision of what is going to become a space, what is going to become a folder, what kind of lists do we need, what kind of structure is your ClickUp going to be to make an educated decision for that you need to know your workflows you need to know your task and how everything falls with each other and links to each other and does with each other if you don't know that you can try to put your click up together as much as you want to and it's always going to be strugglesome and it's always going to be time sucking and not working for you because you don't know your own processes now having challenged you before the next video goes live i want you to go which tool you want to use if you want to use diagrams.net draw io whatever they're called now or something else you can even use clickups mind mapping feature now it's not as visual as this you don't have different shapes and errors and all of that it's really just a mind mapping feature and you can see that on the first look video right here you can use that too i don't personally like it for this i like the boxes and really be able
able to move things around and do everything. And I know ClickUp will be coming out with updates to the ClickUp mind mapping. So if you are more list focused, you can do this even in the ClickUp mind mapping feature. Having said that, no matter which tool you are using, you got a week before the next video goes live. Jump in the comments section. Tell me which workflow did you build? And then I want to see your ClickUp setup and know how much less time it took you to suddenly set up your ClickUp. And if you're new here to the channel and you have made it this far, yet you are not subscribed yet, now is your turn. Go hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And give it a thumbs up. If you like this video, that tells me to produce more of this content for you.